Hey, Nick here from MS Power User, and today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 build 14342. This build has been on the PC for a while, and now we finally get a hands-on for mobile. So let's take a look right now. Diving straight in, we can see that Edge has gotten a couple of improvements. So see I'm on the Google site right now, and let's say I wanted to go to MS Power User because, you know, MS Power User is amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the site. And let's say I wanted to go back to Google. Well, I could click this back button down here. And once I was at Google, I could go forward um, using this um, menu in the app bar. But there's a new way to navigate. What I can do is I can actually just, you know, swipe. It's pretty intuitive and it works pretty well. And if I want to go forward, guess what? I can swipe to the left. So it all works out. Um, so yeah, that's Edge, and let's take a look at some UI changes now. So in the Action Center, you can see that the tile background behind these header images has actually disappeared. Now, I'm actually glad, and it may seem minor to you guys, but this UI change has been amazing, because the original headers had the um, box, so you can see read it would have a um, blue box because it syncs with my accent color and it was smaller than the icon so it looked really tacky so they got rid of that and it looks pretty snazzy and performance in the action center has actually improved as well if we go within settings you can see some new icons see some for location and notifications and this is expected since this settings app is universal if we also look in the settings app, you can see that the apps for websites option is also available for mobile. And it also does nothing because no apps support this feature. And again, this feature will allow websites to launch apps using protocols, I'm assuming, to initiate commands within that app. So that's pretty snazzy. So all in all, this build seems pretty nice and pretty stable overall. There have been a couple of um, UI changes in the build and uh, some of them that I actually didn't show here um, lock screen options so if you're playing music you can see that um, the alignment's also been fixed and there's an actual UI for pressing the button and performance improvements within the OS as well now please note if you're submitting feedback that you can't actually uh, use it unless you know how to read English because the app hasn't been localized, so that's nice. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're submitting feedback, and hopefully you enjoy this build. If you are, tell us in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.